Hello, my name is Jim Murphy Murph. I'm an F-15 instructor pilot with over 2,500 hours of flight time in sophisticated jets like this one, the F-15. I'm also the founder and CEO of a company called Afterburner. We're a team of men and women fighter pilots that travel around the world teaching flawless execution methodologies. Flawless execution in rapidly changing, challenging, and for us as fighter pilots, hostile environments. We believe that the tools and techniques that the Air Force, Navy, and the Marines have taught us as fighter pilots are tools and techniques that you can use to win in your rapidly changing, challenging, and let's hope never hostile environments. We've trained over 100 of the Fortune 500 corporations worldwide through our programs. At Afterburner, we focus on one thing, flawless execution. We teach what we call the flawless execution model. It's simply how do fighter pilots execute perfectly, utilizing planning, briefing, executing, and debriefing tools and skills. In our team building seminars, half day programs, corporate coaching, consulting, and keynote addresses, that's what we'll teach your team. Now come on wise festers, I know Dallas is an exciting city, but that was weak and unacceptable. Let's try it one more time. How's everybody doing this morning? Yeah. All right, much, much better. Well, my name is Commander Jim Murph Murphy. I'm the founder and CEO of a company called Afterburner. We're a group of men and women fighter pilots, no kidding, real fighter pilots that travel around the country, actually around the world, talking to leaning forward, cutting edge organizations and individuals just like you, getting you prepared for one thing and one thing only. And what do you think that is? Combat, right? Because we have a saying at Afterburner that business or trading is combat. Business is combat. And I want to ask each and every one of you a question. What is combat? Combat for me, for us as fighter pilots, is a rapidly changing, challenging, and sometimes hostile environment. I want you to think about your world for a minute. Is your world rapidly changing, challenging, and possibly even hostile, right? So that's why we're here today, because we believe that the tools and the techniques that the Air Force, Navy, and the Marines have taught us as frontline fighter pilots are tools and techniques that you can use to win and your rapidly changing, challenging, and let's hope never hostile environment. If you ever lose sight of your threats to mission success, you will always lose the fight. Lose sight, lose the fight. It's true flying fighters, and it's true for you in the corporate real estate environment as well. Well today, we're not only gonna give you some tools to help you keep sight of your competition, we're gonna teach you a process that will dramatically improve your execution. Once we plan, brief, execute, and we know our results, what does 90% of corporate America like to do next? Guess what? You're right. Nothing. Plan, brief, execute, Miller time. Or, in most cases, it's more like, Plan, brief, execute, and it's on to putting out the next fire or dealing with the next crisis of the day. Well, not in our world. After every single mission, we call timeout and we hold a debrief, where we get together behind closed doors. We hash out what worked and what didn't, and we walk away with one, two, maybe even three key lessons learned, things we never want to do again, things we always want to incorporate into our plan so that when we plan, brief, execute, debrief, we win on our battlefield. And folks, if you'll embrace this concept, I promise you'll continue to win on your battlefield as well. Let me ask you, since when in life does everything ever go perfect? Never, right? Absolutely never. That's why we have step six. Step six is to plan for contingencies, the what ifs. As fighter pilots, we spend over half of our time talking about the what ifs, the contingencies, the what if this happens, what are we gonna do? As an example, what if cruisers, the flight lead for this huge strike package going in to this unknown territory, I'm leading 20 other aircraft and I get shot down by a surface to air missile. Does Jackie O take over as the flight lead or does my entire team turn back and land 
to do it another day. What if the weather over the target is so bad that we can't drop these precision guided munitions on this vacant building? What are we going to do? What if 12 MiG fighters show up on top of our strike package to take us out instead of the six that our intelligence officer told us were around? What if for x right? What if at the end of Q1, you're 15% below plan? What are you going to do? What if Graytag rolls out a new product that competes directly with the product that you just recently rolled out, and they're out there stomping you in the marketplace? What if one of your key accounts decides to cancel their forecast for the rest of the year? What are you going to do? See, we have a saying, flying fighters, and we say this. Flexibility is the key to air power. And at Afterburner, we take that one step further, and we say preparation is the key to flexibility. We do not manage by crisis, ever. We sit in a room just like this, sipping on a Coke in our planning phase and in our briefing phase, and we know exactly what we're going to do when we're merging with our competition over 2,000 miles an hour. I know exactly what I'm going to do when my competition turns right and goes nose low, or they turn left and go nose high. We do not manage by crisis. If you want to eliminate surprises, you have to plan for change. The ability to adapt and change is truly the key to success. Well, as a marine trained fighter pilot, I like to keep things pretty simple. At the end of the day, I want my number of takeoffs to equal my number of landings. Simple goal, right? If they don't, then something's gone wrong. I've probably had to eject out of my aircraft and ride a silk parachute down to the ground. We actually call it the silk letdown. 